How you doing, folks? Bob and Joe here. Is that better with it on or off? Well, I'll take it off so the light. That boy of mine, he was complaining about the nighttime videos being dark, so uh, I bought me a cat light, one that hangs. Is this better? Can you see me now? Got a little swivel thingy up there. Oh, so, I'll attempt to do whatever I can to make these videos better. I, uh, really don't want to have a bunch of bad videos out. Hopefully those of you that's been with me for the long ride, I hope you see improvements in the videos and whatnot. I'm uh, not going to try to change me at all. I just, I'm me. However, I will try to make you better videos. Got a truck backing in beside me. He missed me. He did good. I, uh, put that one up. Kill as much of this background noise that I can. Uh, <coughs> Little Miss 208, she asked me to, uh, do a video about this 72 hour road check we got going. Known by to us old hands is a 72 hour cash register run. Collect it and go. Now this thing started out like everything else in America. It started out with a good purpose. And it started out good. Uh, we did need help. The drivers. There was a lot of companies out here that was not taking care of their equipment and uh, the government did this that and the other and all of this you know the CDL thing that was supposed to help uh, they did all kinds of stuff that the government did they made new laws all right we ain't going to enforce old ones but we'll make new ones that'll help yes sarcasm let me wipe it off but uh when they started this 72 hour thing, it did help a lot. In the beginning, there was a lot of trucks getting shut down out here. Anymore, you don't see near what we used to. Uh, but as I was saying, as in America, with any good thing, they overdo it and it becomes a not so good thing. That's where we're at now. The uh, just like the scale houses. Have you noticed that uh, the majority of the scale houses, if they're open, they're not rolling you across the scale? Or if they are, they're not paying attention to you. They're just opening the scales, getting, enough, getting in two or three, four trucks, pulling one, two or three around back, however many uh, money collectors they have working that day. And uh, they start dlt -ing. That's because we're all running pretty dead gum legal anymore. It's getting harder and harder for them to make their money. And if they ain't collecting revenue off these trucks, jobs will be cut. I mean, that's just the simple of it. If, uh, if, just like you and I, if we, if we don't make our trucks generate revenue, why does the company need us? They get rid of us. Well, it's the same thing for anybody else. If you're not making no money, or, or at least paying your way, they don't need you. So as all these states are getting more and more broke, they, uh, see now there's a driver that's actually getting out and checking his truck after he stopped tonight. That is a very rare deal. All he did was kick his tires, but and he's kicking his drives up there. That's very rare that that happens. But anyway, uh, nowadays we have like three of these 72 hour deals in a the summer. They put different names on all of them, 
but uh, and it's all in the name of safety. In the beginning, I might have agreed with that, and I did agree with it. It was very aggravating back then because I was outlaw big time. Nowadays, I'm sorry, I think it's just the cash register run. They're one to generate more money. Uh, there's not a whole lot that you can really do to get ready for one. Uh, everything that you need to do to get ready should already be done. And being it starts tomorrow, this video is a little bit late, ain't it? Now, originally, they did run a full 72 hours straight. Over the course of time, some of the states quit that. Why are you backing up more, driver? Uh, some of them run eight hour a day shifts until they do their 72 hours. It's just up to the independent state or country. Uh, some of them just blow it off, and more, more, more of them's been blowing it off than not over the last few years. They can't afford it, and uh, the majority of the trucks are legal. I mean, we're running computer logs. Uh, everybody's running newer equipment to meet all this California clean air nonsense, the carb. Uh, the the masses are running a lot more legal. The equipment is a lot more legal. Yes, there's a few holdouts and whatnot, but the numbers are in the favor of the clean. Best thing that you can do, make sure all your lights are working. Make sure your brakes are adjusted. Uh, make sure your truck looks decent. Your biggest pain in the butt for you, it, it is for me, Make sure all your paperwork's right. Now that might entitle you having to get on the phone with your safety department or whoever in your company that helps you with your permit book. Have your permit book out. Make sure your insurance card's up to date and all that stuff. And uh, if all that stuff's up to date, your medical card's up to date, you know, it, it, we have an old saying out here that DOT can take a brand new truck and they'll find something wrong with it. Well, it's the same thing with these 72 hours. There's go, It's a numbers game. I've told you that about trucking all along. It's a numbers game. There's a certain number of us that are going to get hit during the 72 hours. Uh, and then there's a certain number of those that's going to get shut down, ticketed, warnings, whatever. It's a numbers game. So, uh, give your truck a decent going over. And uh, this year they're concentrating on tires. So, uh, it wouldn't hurt for you to swing through a Loves or a Petro. A lot of these major truck stops do offer a little pre-trip, whatever you want to call it, to make sure your truck's okay. Uh, the loves, they'll check out your tires for you. Check your pressures and all that good stuff. I gotta turn that up a little bit. Uh, that's about to cut and drive it, folks. I mean, there's, if you're running right and legal, there's just not a whole lot that you can do past that to uh, get ready for it. And unfortunately, with it being this late at night, it's like almost 11 o'clock Central Time, so it's midnight Eastern Time. I don't want to make people mad posting this thing in the middle of the night, so I'll post it when I get up. I'll go ahead and make it go live as soon as I get up morning. That'll be 7.30, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Maybe a little bit earlier. I hope I can sleep late tomorrow. Uh, I'm down here at Willie's place again. I gotta go through Dallas in the morning. I ain't getting in no hurry to get up through that traffic. I only have nine hours and 45 minutes left on my 70 hour clock. So, uh, I don't think I recoup any hours tomorrow. It'll be Wednesday before I recoup anything. So, uh, once I get to the yard, I might take 34 off and take half of the 72 off right in the middle of it. Folks, 
I know that didn't help you. Uh, even the new guys out here know what I just rambled through, so maybe if you're nervous or something, maybe it will help you out a little bit. That's about all I can really tell you. Make sure your tire, you got good tires because they're, they're checking the, the pressure and the tread and the overall appearance of it is what I've read in the news magazines or the news beats. So, uh, and of course, they're going to check other stuff, but that's what they're concentrating on. Their biggest money maker over the years has been two things. Log books, which most of them don't run no more, and brake adjustment. So, you might want to keep that in mind. If you're the kind that adjusts your brakes, you might want to adjust your brakes. So, uh, there you go. That's all I can tell you. It wasn't much, but that's all I can tell you. I can also tell you, uh, God loves you and so do I. Good luck getting through this 72 hour thing. See how nice I was? start to call it something else. God bless y'all. Have a good evening. Good luck. Hope nobody gets ticketed, but somebody's got to. Bye.